joins us now. Jason, tell me more about uh, Democrats in Washington state releasing the state's most dangerous criminals back into the community. How and why are they doing this? Well, let's set this up. Roy Russell, back in 2005, after attempting to rape a 14-year-old girl, strangled her to death. Now, this was his third felony, which allowed a judge to sentence him to life under our three strikes law. There's a problem. Democrats have been trying to weaken the three strikes law here in Washington. And so two years ago, they took second degree robbery off of the list of penalties that can be used during the three strike, streak, three strike laws. One year later, so last year, they decided to make that bill retroactive. Well, guess what? Roy Russell had previously been charged with just that, second degree robbery. So now he has to be resentenced. And there is, based upon him already serving about 16 years and apparently having good behavior in prison, there's a possibility that he gets released within three years, depending on what a judge decides next month. On top of that, we have the state Supreme Court, which is overrun by Democrats, basically say that anyone who was young, who got sentenced to a life sentence, so we're talking about murders here, they have to be resentenced by taking into account their age. Because the argument that the judges are basically making is that at a young age, your brain isn't fully developed. They apparently don't realize that murder is wrong. So we've got people who at the age of 20 ended up murdering someone who's going to be released soon. You have a 16 year old who killed his parents and his five year old brother is going to be released soon. All under the guise of the equity movement and criminal justice reform. It is making this state less safe. And I think it's pretty clear from a reasonable standard that people, if they knew that this was happening, would not be okay with it. I'm very interested to see the reaction to these crime sprees around the country in the November elections. They should be a big factor. Jason Rance, thanks for being here. We will see you again soon. I just got to say thank you to uh, Brian.